Hi, I'm Dan Schmidt. I do a weekly television show called Team Chicago Challenge. My website, teamchicago.tv, teamchicago.tv. If you want to contact me, my email is teamdan45 at gmail.com. So, we're in Elkhorn, Wisconsin, the Wadsworth County Fairgrounds, W-A-L-W-O-R-T-A, County Fairgrounds, and uh, what a great day. The weather is almost perfect, a little windy, but we're here for motorcycle racing on this beautiful cushion track. Now, I've raced here many, many times. Sometimes I do great, sometimes I do terrible. So let's see what happens. We look at some of the racing action. We've got a fair going on. We've got thousands of people in the grandstand. It is a great day to be racing motorcycles. And don't forget my email, teamdan45 at gmail.com if you want to contact me and uh, let me know what you think of um, my productions on YouTube. We are racing at the county fair and this is how racing should be. You see the Ferris wheel in the background, people having a great time. A good number of folks will be in the grandstands watching the great motorcycle racing. And this is the 170th anniversary for the Walworth County Fair. And now it's time for practice. I'm riding my 750 Triumph. Check out this beautiful cushion track. It is a limestone track. We'll ride up on the upside and try to cut across down to the down low part. Get on the gas. That is the key to flat track racing. It's how quick you can get back on the gas. A little spray from the bike in front of me. Down the front straightaway. Some of these bikes are flying out there. I have to pick up my pace. Try this outside line. Triumph's running fine. And now I get blasted. Okay, let's go check out the first couple heat races right here in Elkhorn, Wisconsin. First heat, 250 class. Jumping off the line, it's number nine, it's Ethan Rosine. He's a genuine go fast ice racer and he's great on the dirt. They swing by one more time. Ethan Rosine continues to lead. Second place is like 03, that's Cole Andresen. Third place is Mark Ziegler. And then fourth place looks like Nick. Johnson. As we see Ethan Rosine want to pick up the win in the first heat. The second heat it's that young Ethan Ramsey blast into the lead, battling behind them. It is Zach Sender and Vincent Young. Going on to pick up the win, it was Ethan Ramsey. And in the final, the 250 class out here at the fair, it was Ethan Rosine picked up the win in the final. Ethan Ramsey was second, and Cole Anderson was in third place. Now we're looking at the plus 40 race. This is for motorcycle racers over 40 years old. Up front, that's my old friend, Danny Peterson. Grew up in Albany Park with me up front. Second place, it looks like Serge Big Piozzi. Third place, it looks like Jim Kirschbaum. 
going on to pick up the win in the first heat race for the plus 40 class. It is Danny Peterson. Surge was second. The second plus 40 class. The riders over 40 years old, but they can ride any bike. Got a tight battle up front with Jeff Wick up front. On that Honda, battle for second, we got Randy Trissel. Honda also, and then Tony Journo of Kenosha. On that Triumph win, he is flying out there. He's on that old taco, I'm not sure, but I think he is on that Triumph win. And pick up the win. It was Jeff Wick in the final for the plus 40 class right here in Elkhorn, Wisconsin. It was Danny Peterson picking up the win in the final on the KTM surge. Big Giosi on the Suzuki was second. Jeff Wick was third on the Honda. Kirschbaum on the Rotex was fourth. Tony Journo, he was riding at Triumph Twin 500. He finished in sixth place. As I come to the line, it doesn't seem like they're leaving much room. The second biggest group out here was the vintage group. Well, looks like two of us jumped the start. But maybe it's better for me because it was pretty tight on the line. And if I start from the back row, I'll be able to take that outside line Watch the starter a little better. Can't jump. Last off the line, I head for the outside. Get by one bike. Got another bike right here. Get on the gas, square the corner, head down the back, shoot. Head up into the cushion. Jumping out front and really flying on his new Triumph, that Jake Zender. He must have worked pretty hard over the winter because he put together a nice 750 Triumph aluminum cylinders, a nice racing frame. I didn't get a chance to look at the bike closer. I'll try to pay attention. He is sponsored by his dad. That is Ed Sender, and he owns Maury's Place, and that's in Ringwood, Illinois, on Route 31. Second place, that is Matt Patera. I'm running in third place, but I'm not quite getting on the gas quick enough, and that is the key to flat track racing. If you're not on the gas, you're coasting, and if you're coasting, you're not racing. Now we're gonna look at open A. Up front, it looks like Emmett Sun right there. Tommy Colson. Colson and Bruski are battling for second place. On that Husqvarna, that's Emmett Sun, S-U-N-D, Colson, Bruski. Colson trying to make the move, trying to run down Sun. Picking up a couple yards. And it's Sun right there. Whoa, no! Two bikes down. It's Colson. Bruski. Bruski, Colson. Red flag out. They have to have a restart. Single file. Colson makes the restart. Bruski did not. Zender's out there on his old Triumph. Up front is that 
Son and Emmett Son and the Husqvarna went in second place at Zake Sender. Now he's on that either the 500 twin triumph. Good crowd in the grandstands watching this great race as we see Zender go by in second. Third place is Tommy Colson. Emmett Zone has got the track dialed. The white flag flies. Zake Zender running second. Rory place. Third place, Tommy Colson. Picking up the win. In front of the thousands of fans right here in Elkhorn, Wisconsin, Stingers, Emmett, Soul. Now we're looking at the Hooligans race. Jumping to the lead, it's Dan Metzler, the X Game champion up front. The second time by, Dan Metzler has dropped out of the race. Benny Carlson is now up front. Benny Carlson, he's the Bell Helmet rep. Got that big H on the front of his Harley Davidson. He goes on to pick up the win in his first Hooligans heat race. There are four heat races. Second heat race jumping out front as Jeremy DeRuder up front. Got a battle for second place There's Ryan Weber and Dave Kilkenny. We see the Rooters stretching the lead. Battle for a second. Looks like Ryan Weber on the down low side. Grab second place. Dave Kilkenny running in third place. Second heat race, Hooligans. Third heat race, jumping out front. It looks like Morgan Metzler grabbing the lead right there. Number 25, that is J.R. Schnabel. J.R. Schnabel, out of retirement, on that Harley Davidson. J.R. Schnabel grabs the lead from Morgan Metzler. 45 is in third place, that Jake now Flannery. Going on to pick up the win in the third heat race, making it into the A final for the Hooligans, that is J.R. Schnabel. Jumping to an early lead in the fourth heat race. That's Cole Bronstad. He's on a Harley. Second place, it's like number 60, Dan Gurr. 51 running third. That's Mike and Rowan. And these three riders will make it to the final. And now we're looking at the pro class. Jumping out front on that twin Kawasaki. It's DJ. Lasher on your big win, second place, Ray Johnson. Ray Johnson from Calvary, Wisconsin. He's on a 450 on the single. Parker Lane right there. Kyle Meister running in fourth place. Now this is the heat race. In the final, DJ Slasser went down, got back up going on to pick up the win in the pro class right here in Elkhorn, Wisconsin. It was Trey Johnson up front, second place Parker Lane, and I had a chance to talk to the announcer, Joe Stoppelworth. I'm Joe Stoppelworth. I'm at the Walworth County Fair, 170th Walworth County Fair, Elkhorn, Wisconsin. We have dirt track races on P-Stone. If you don't know what that is, just figure yourself riding on the ice with bad tires, bad screws. <laughs> uh, these guys are loving it. We got a couple of uh, Grand National guys here, AFT. Uh, we have a retired J.R. Schnabel. Um, and we have Morgan Mischler here. And they're putting one heck of a show on in the hooligan class. It's going to be fun to watch. Thank you, Joe. Now, if you remember Joe Stoppelworth, he was involved with the ice race, the Otter Street fishing race in Oshkosh, Wisconsin for many, many years. And Joe and I have had great races together and he's allowed me to ride his bike in a few races. And now it's the final event, vintage class. Bike's over 25 years old, waiting for the flag man. 
flag blast off. I head to the outside to ride the Kush and square it off and come down, see if I can pass a couple of these bikes. But I don't have the acceleration I thought I would have. And the line is not working. For some reason, I just don't have it together in this race. And the clutch is slipping a little bit. It was kind of hard to start the bike. But the real problem is I'm not getting on the gas quick enough. So up front, it's Jake Zender on that beautiful Triumph from Maury's place. Their shop is in Ringwood, Illinois on Route 31. If you want to check out some vintage bikes, that's the place to go. But Jake Zender went on to pick up the win in his vintage class. Jim Kirschbaum was second. Shane Westpaw was third. Chuck Clark was fourth. Stephen Beyer was fifth. And Randy Reed from California finished in sixth place. Now we're looking at the B final. This is the B Hooligan final. These are for all the racers that finished fourth or worse. Starting out in the back there, we see that big number one. That is Dan Metzler. Dan Metzler from Metzler Harley Davidson BMW, Beaver Dam, Wisconsin. He won the Harley Davidson sponsored X Games in Minnesota. That's why he's got that big number one on his plate. I'm listening to Joe Stoppelworth announce that Dan went by everybody down the back straightaway. We see a battle for second place between Christopher Hansen, Jim Kirschbaum, Dan Jacobson, Robert Reed right there, Jason Scheffler. Next time by, it's like Hansen, number 33, is still in second. Kirschbaum's trying to move up. As we see Dan Metzler stretching the lead. Kirschbaum and Hansen bat on for second place. B final for the Hooligans. 51 comes by, that is Randy Bullock. As we see the battle for second between 33 and 99, that's Kirschbaum battling with Christopher Hansen. White flag, lapping traffic, that is Dan Metzler. Metzler, Harley Davidson and BMW in Beaver Dam, Wisconsin. He is the x Kane champ. Second place goes to Jim Kirschbaum. Third place goes to Christopher Hansen. Fourth place, Dan Jacobson. Fifth place on the Yamaha, Robert Rees. Sixth place on the Harley is Jason Schaefer. Picking up the win. Checkered flag flies. That is Dan Metzler. First bomb second and Christopher Hansen. Now this is the A Hooligan. Now Hooligan motorcycles, any size engine must be a street chassis. No racing chassis, but they can run 1200 cc Harley engines, but it's got to be in the stock sports to frame. They line up the A, Hooligan, final. Jumping off the line, it looked like Morgan Metzler, maybe, coming around it. J.R. Schnabel, Morgan Metzler, Benny Carlson, Jeremy DeRuder, one, two, three, four. J.R. Schnabel, he's looking as great here today as he looks when he's on the ice. Now I want you to watch closely and see where these guys get on the gas. In the middle of the corner, they are on the gas. JR still up front, Morgan Metzler from Metzler. Harley Davidson BMW running in second place. They are cousins, Morgan and Dan Metzler. This time around, it is JR, but right there, ready to jump, it is Morgan Metzler. Let me see. Jeremy DeRuder battle with Benny Carlson. Benny Carlson is the Bell Helmet rep for the Midwest. Benny Carlson running in fourth place. JJ Flattery running fifth. Brady Lane running in sixth place. As we 
see JR with the 25. His normal number is 33, but he retired. JR stopped and running at number 25 on the Harley Davidson up front. Hooligans race right here. Wildsworth County Fair, Elkhorn, Wisconsin. As we see JR go by one more time, battle for third place, continue to heat up. You got Jeremy DeRuder right there with Benny Carlson. JJ Flattery, number 45, Brandy Lane, 41, are right there. White flag flies. It is JR Schnabel. JR Schnabel from Wisconsin, local hero. Morgan Metzler running second. Third place goes to Jeremy DeRuder. Benny Carlson. Mr. Bell Helmets running in fourth place. JJ Flattery running fifth place. Sixth place, Brandy Lane. Cole Brownston running in seventh place. And David Kilkenny running in eighth place. As we see JR come by with the checkered flag taking the victory lap. What a great day, motorcycle racing. Don't forget the AMA, American Motorcyclists Association. Their website is AmericanMotorcyclists.com. For racing in Wisconsin, it's District 16 Racing, www.amadistrict16.com. The AMA protecting our rights to own and race motorcycles. To contact me, it's Team Dan. 45 at gmail.com let me know what you think of this production and remember you can always search on YouTube with Dan Schmidt Motorcycle Racing for great motorcycle racing action